you're about to graduate and you're thinking about applying overseas. Well, prepare to change everything you know about resumes. Hi everyone, this video is geared more towards recent grads who are thinking about applying for jobs outside North America. If that's you, then one of your first steps is to format your CV or curriculum vitae. And no, that's not the same as a resume. First things first, the difference between a traditional North American resume and a CV is that a resume is one to two pages, uses short sentences and bullet points. But outside North America, or at least outside of those companies with a North American influence, you have the CV. These can be three to five pages. They're more descriptive, usually written in paragraph form. They contain a professional photo of yourself, as well as some personal information that's sometimes illegal to ask for in North America. We've listed out the contents of a typical CV in the video description below. But in general, make an effort to research the preferred CV format for the country you're applying in and even consider translating your CV into that country's native language. Not only that, it's also a good idea to become culturally conscious. You know, learn about the news in the country you're looking to work in, their pop culture, their music, even a few words of the local language and slang. That way, when you do a Skype interview for these types of jobs, you'll sound much more like a natural fit to that foreign country. Finally, before you go too deep into your overseas job hunt, learn everything you can about the visa's laws for the country you're thinking of working in. Depending on the country, be prepared to provide background information like police reports, proof of citizenship in your home country, and sometimes your medical or vaccination info too. At the end of the day, working overseas is an amazing opportunity to see the world and broaden your professional experience. But just make sure you have a solid understanding about whether or not you're even eligible to work in your target country before preparing a CV for it. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know and we'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below.